Villagers on the island of Jeju off the southern tip of South Korea are denouncing recent attacks and arrests by police during protests against a naval base that has begun construction. Residents say the military base threatens their livelihoods and the local marine environment. Some residents have taken direct action in attempts to stop the construction and block equipment from reaching the site, and that has led to clashes with police. A video posted online by activists show police in helmets and shields dragging protesters from a road leading to the seashore. More than 30 international groups called on the Korean government to respect human rights. In a letter sent to South Korea's president, Lee Myung-bak, in March, the groups noted that in an April 2007 meeting that paved the way for the project, only about 5% of 1,900 villagers participated. Since then, a referendum of residents found 94% of the people of Jeju opposed the plan. For more, we go to Jeju Island in South Korea to speak with Sung Hee Choi, an activist and current resident there. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you. Several of the recent protests have been focused on a place called Gorombi Rock, where construction has begun on the coast. Describe the recent action and the response from the mainland police there. The mainland police, you know, arrested uh, people uh, who resisted uh, to, you know, the breaking the fence and then entered the Colombia Rock uh, to save the coast uh, from the destruction. You know, about you know, five people uh, were arrested, you know, on the day, and, you know, the, some people were injured. And also, uh, it was a uh, uh, day uh, of, you know, one of our key activists uh, got the court decision to be imprisoned for the naval base struggle. So you say five people were arrested. Are they still detained? Were they released? As I know, uh, they are still, uh, you know, uh, they are not uh, released yet. So, but uh, we would know soon, uh, you know, whether they would be released or not. Uh, without them, uh, there are uh, two, uh, you know, uh, prisoners, uh, recent prisoners, you know, for this issue. Were the people that were injured, was that due to the police action or, or police use of force? Uh, yes. There are lots of, you know, human rights uh, issue, uh, which is uh, actually grave. Uh, the human rights uh, violations here are very serious. From uh, January 2010 uh, and today, the numbers of arrests, uh, you know, exceeds uh, more than 420. More than 420. More than 420 people arrested, you say. As these protests continue at this point, what is the status of the construction of the naval base and how is that affecting local residents? Currently, uh, now the Navy has you know, expropriated more than 50% of the villagers' land you know, near the coast. And then they are now, uh, you know, build, they have been building up the tents along the all area of the, you know, uh, naval base construction. And they are even blocking the sea uh, with the wire. Yeah, they are blocking the, you know, coast so that the people cannot access to it. So there are areas of the coast that the government has blocked off that residents cannot access. Yeah, uh, the government is now thoroughly uh, blocking people's access uh, to the construction area. It has been, you know, okay for us uh, to access the coast by, you know, by kayaks. Uh, but it was around uh, February 27th uh, that the police uh, blocked even putting kayaks on the sea. So now people's only way is, uh, to the coast is by swimming. And what is the response from villagers you've seen to having this area cut off from them? You know, uh, they, you know, tear, they, you know, cry because they cannot see how their precious hometown is left by the, you know, uh, state, you know, like state, which is like a ship, uh, they feel, you know. 
it's the name of the national policy. No, it's not national policy. Well, according to the Korea Times, the government approved the project in 2007, saying at the time that it was necessary to secure trade, commerce, and military in the region, military defense. What has the political process been like for local residents since then? Yeah, the government has never, never sincerely you know, paid attention to the voice of the villagers, even though the villagers you know, made many trials. They, you know, visited the National Assembly. They made a sitting in front of, you know, a government hall. You know, they made, uh, you know, uh, peace march throughout the island. Uh, They wrote uh, to the, you know, the local media. But the government has never, you know, uh, paid attention to their voice. So the villagers have, uh, you know, demanded that there should be, uh, they, the government should, you know, acknowledge it, villagers' own democratic vote. Song Hee Choi is an activist from Jeju Island in South Korea. She joined us to give an update on the local residents' efforts to resist the construction of a naval base on the island that they say threatens their community and the region. Song Hee Choi, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you.